Here at Datacracker, we are proud to announce that we've integrated Datacracker with SurveyMonkey. It's now really easy to get your data from SurveyMonkey into Datacracker and use Datacracker's features to slice and dice the data to find insights and to share these insights with others. We'll start by logging into Datacracker. Then we click the Upload Data button and choose SurveyMonkey. Datacracker then lists all of the different SurveyMonkey studies that we have. I'm going to choose my first one, which looks at holiday destinations. Datacracker then gives us a choice of what type of report we want. I'm going to choose a short report. And I'll choose one with a single table on every page. The first thing you notice when you get into Datacracker is that it has a familiar office-like interface, which makes it easy to work out where things are. On the left of the screen, it lists all the various questions in our SurveyMonkey survey. I'm going to click on the first one, which shows me the age data. I can click on that and modify it in various ways. Most simply, I could turn it into a chart. The next page is showing us data on what state people live in. Now, this data is a bit tricky to analyse because it's text data. It lists for each person in our survey a couple of letters indicating their state. This is where I'm able to use one of the really cool features of Datacracker. I can click on the table, go to the Data Manipulation tab, and choose lots of different ways to manipulate it. And I'm just going to click on Percentages. And then it converts all that text automatically into percentages. And I can then do various cool things with it, like I might sort it. And I could merge together categories, click Merge. And I'll rename that. The next page has got data on when people think they will next go on holiday outside of the US. I can again merge categories, but I'll do it a different way this time. I'll just drag and drop one into the other. And I can create a net, which is an overlapping category. I select all of the cells. Again, in data manipulation, I click Create Net. And I'll just rename that category as next 10 years. And so we've now got the original categories of the survey, which have been merged at the top, and we've got this new overlapping category of next 10 years. If you look on the Home ribbon, you'll see here it shows us that the data selection we currently have is the question on when they think they're most likely to go overseas by summary. And we can change that by example, we could choose by state. And when we do that, Datacracker remembers how we previously merged together those states. But even more importantly, it automatically works out which values on the table are most interesting. So we can see here, for example, that the net, which is the total sample, 59% said they were planning to go overseas in the next 10 years. And there's a red number for Texas. And that's telling us that Texans are significantly less likely to say they're planning to go overseas in the next 10 years than the other groups. And so Datacrack has quickly found the most interesting result for us. The next page shows some quite interesting data. It's about which country people would like to go on holidays to. Now, we could turn it into percentages, but it would actually be rather hard to analyse because we end up with lots and lots of different countries and no easy way to merge them. So what we're going to instead do is we're just going to go straight and turn it into a chart. And we'll choose a word cloud. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen these before but you haven't seen them quite like data crackers. Data crackers is interactive. So we can see here, for example, that we've got two different spellings of Caribbean. We can click on one and they'll get merged together and the words will get updated in terms of their size. So now Caribbean is much bigger and reflects the three different spellings. Similarly, we can also take other categories and we can remove them. For example, we might wish to remove holiday from the analysis and the word cloud again gets automatically updated. And lastly, we'll do something a bit more complicated. Here we've got data which is showing how often people travel to different countries and it's showing us averages. We can again cross tab it by other information. We click on the table, change it from a summary and we'll look here at which groups they identify with. And we can see here now that the whites, or people identify as whites I should say, are significantly more likely to have gone to France or Great Britain whereas those identifying as Hispanics are less likely to say France and Great Britain. We can merge the other categories if we want, just create a combined other category. Again, going into data manipulation, going merge. 
and I'll rename that category as R. And maybe drag it off to the right. Now, this has improved things a little bit, but the chart or the table is still a bit hard to understand because a lot of people aren't very good at understanding averages. I can click on the table again, and I can again go into data manipulation and say, look, convert this to percentages. And what I will do here, it gives me a couple of options, and these take a bit of time to get your head around initially. But the first option, which is shown on the left, is going to count up the number of people who've gone to each country once or more. And on the right, it's going to count up the portion of people who've gone to a country zero times, one times, two times. And I think the one on the left is more useful, so I'm going to use this. And I'll rename it as countries visited once or more. And so now I've got a table that's a lot more straightforward to read. We can see that, for example, people identify as being whites. We've got two thirds of them have gone to Mexico, which is actually even more than for the Hispanic group. But we can also see that they're much more likely to say they'll go to, that have gone to, sorry, France and Great Britain. And let's turn that into a chart as well. Now, I've really only just touched upon some of the really useful features in Data Cracker. One thing we can do is we can get it to put a little text summary on any particular chart. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to reformat the chart to create a room for the summary box to appear. I'm going to go to the Insert menu and just click Analysis Summary. And I'll actually add a little analysis summary to the right of the chart. There are lots of other options here. I can tell it to create groups or segments, to do some predictive modeling, filter the data, weight the data, construct new numeric data. And also, once I'm finished, I've got various options for sharing the data. I could send it off to PowerPoint, create a new web page which I can send to friends and colleagues, or a PDF document that I can send to other people. So, please go to www.datacracker.com and get cracking on using SurveyMonkey data in Datacracker.